After this video, you will be able to learn how to make a flyer using Microsoft Publisher. This is a computer that uses primarily Microsoft software. So the first step is to go down to the little Windows key here. And on my computer, you just automatically start typing in Publisher and it'll come up. Other times, you'll just have to search through all your applications. Once you have that opened up, um, you actually have a lot of built-in features for um, customizing all sorts of things like banners and bulletin boards and booklets and labels and things like that. Today, we're going to click on the built-in button here and scroll down to the flyers. Once you've clicked on that, then you have all of these options here for templates for flyers already. Now you can go ahead and make your own flyer, but this is a real quick way to get all the graphics that you might want and just put in the content that you need. So we'll just pick a color band right here and you're going to have to go over to the bottom right and click create. After you've done that, your screen will look something like this. You need to make sure that whatever content, graphics, um, that sort is actually fitting inside this blue line. Anything outside that blue line will not print. You have the following options that you would have as far as a regular Microsoft document here. For example, the styles of lettering, text box features, pictures, tables, graphs, etc. You can also insert pictures from online, make shapes over in the insert tab. On the page design tab, this is where you can start choosing all of the different colors and themes that you would like. And once you have finished going through all that and you have all your content that you want, you can um, review it, make sure that all your spelling's correct, make sure it says exactly the kind of message you want to put across, then you are ready to save. So you would click File, Save As. Sometimes people like browse this week I've been doing a lot on my desktop so I can just click my desktop and I can save it right away there naming it and it's under publication you can actually save it as a PDF to make it easier to print later or send through an email now you're ready to make your own